Let's do another sweep example. This time, let's make a paper clip. So the first thing we need to do with our sweep command is let's start with the path. So let's draw the path of a paper clip on the top plane. So first I'll select a sketch and then it asks me what plane to put this on. I'll go ahead and select the top plane. It's a right click view normal. Now we'll walk through this path and I'll sketch some lines and then I'll put some dimensions on the lines and then I'll sketch some more. That way our path doesn't get um, too crazy when we start to dimension it. Let's first start with the straight line and let's go ahead and start at the origin. So this is a helpful point to use in a lot of our drawings. So I'll click once, let's make a vertical line and then I'll click a second time and now I'll just, I'll just press the escape button to get rid of our line tool. And let's immediately put a dimension on this line. So using the dimension tool or pressing the letter D for dimension, we'll click once on our line, move over to the left, and we'll enter a value of 15 millimeters. Now it got really small all of a sudden, and that's not a problem. It's just that it's a small line in reference to our original plane. So you can push F for fill or you can just zoom in with the mouse wheel. So I'll press F for fill and now we've zoomed in just a little bit. If it's not far enough, I can roll the mouse wheel in order to get a little closer. So next let's put a curve into our paperclip path. So I'm going to select the tangent arc. I'll do one click on the end of the line we created and I'll put another click somewhere around here. Now, a paperclip curve goes an entire 180 degrees, and we have multiple curves. So I can kind of eyeball this, or I'll just make it somewhere around here, and I can fix this later. So press the Escape button. Now let's immediately put a dimension on this, D for dimension. Click on the arc, move out here, and we're going to have a radius of 4 millimeters. So next, I want this line, I'm sorry, I want this arc to go 180 degrees, so I can press the end point and then click the center point, and I want those to be horizontal with each other. So I'll press the horizontal constraint, and now we have an arc that's 180 degrees. So let's put another line in our path with the line tool. Select on our arc, move straight down, go a little bit past the origin, click once and let go. Now we'll put a dimension on this line, this line is 22 millimeters long. Now let's put another curve at the end. So I'll pick the tangent arc, click once on our second straight line, click somewhere over into the left of our origin point. Notice that if I hover just enough, Onshape is smart enough to say, or to think that we want a 180 degree circle, 180 degree arc. So that's what I'm going to make sure that I see that dotted line. So I can click and that will automatically make the horizontal constraint. If I click somewhere out here, once again I can select the end point and the center point and make them horizontal with each other. And that's what I'm going to do now. So let's press the escape button to get rid of the arc tool. Now I'll select my end point and my center point. I want those horizontal, so from the constraint menu I'll pick horizontal. Now my path is kind of getting off my screen so I can move our sketch just a little bit so we can see everything. Let's put a dimension on so you can click the dimension tool or press D for dimension. Now I'll click on my arc and this is going to have a radius of 4.5 millimeters. I'll press escape to get rid of the dimension tool and now let's go back to our line tool which you can press L for line or you can just press the line tool. You'll notice as you hover over some of these tools there's a letter in parentheses so for example the circle tool is with C for circle or line tool is L for line. So I can click the line tool we'll click once and then move up past this first line that we made a little bit higher and then we'll click and then let's press the escape button to get rid of our line tool. Now this dimension is kind of getting in our way, so let me move this over here. 
I'll bring this 15 millimeter dimension inside to kind of clear up our sketch. Now I need to specify the length of this line here. So let's press D for dimension. I'll select this line, come over, and we'll set it at 31 millimeters. Now we're almost off the screen, so let me zoom out a little bit and move this. Let's put our last arc in our paper clip, the tangent arc. I'll select our line, come over somewhere over here, click again, I'll press escape. I want these two points to be horizontal with each other. So I'll select the horizontal tool, and next I need to give a dimension for this arc. I'll press D for dimension, click on the arc, click once more, and that's going to have a value of 5 millimeters. I press the escape to get rid of my dimension tool. I need to put one more line. So I'll use the line tool. I'll click at the end of our arc and I'll bring our line down. Now this is a lot much too long so I can drag it up but the best thing to do is let's give a dimension. So I'll press D for dimension. Now I'll hover just over the line that we already created. Click once move out to the right, click again, and it's going to have a value of 24 millimeters. And now we're finished with our path for the paperclip. Let's press the green check. Now let's go back into our isometric view or trimetric view, and you can see if I zoom in, this is the path of our paperclip. Now a paperclip has a circular cross-section, just like a metal wire, so we need to make one more sketch and this sketch needs to intersect with our path, so I'm going to press the sketch button. I'll select my plane, and I know that my path intersects the origin, which is sitting on the front plane, so I'm going to select the front plane. And if I zoom in, I want my circle, my paperclip, to start right at the origin. And I'm going to stay in isometric view while I sketch, which is typically not what we do, but it's easier for sweeping. Let me zoom in. I'm in the sketch mode, and I'm going to select the circle, and I'm going to put it right at the origin, and I'll draw it out here. Now finally, I need to give a dimension to the diameter of this wire. So if I press D for dimension and I click on the circle, I can give it a value of 0 0.75 millimeters, which is pretty small. And press the green check, and now we're all done. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the planes. You can press P for planes, and that will get rid of all the planes. You can press it again, and it'll come back. So sometimes that can be helpful. I'm also going to hide the origin. So now I just have the path and my profile. So I'm going to press the sweep tool, and it's going to say, what faces or regions do you want to sweep? And this, I'll select the circle. Next, it wants to know the sweep path, and I can select each segment of the sketch. However, it's a lot faster to come over to the feature tree, select sketch one, and then all of a sudden we have our paper clip. I can press the green check, and we're all finished. If I zoom and pan around, we can see and rotate this body that we have a paper clip that we've created with a sweep tool.